me, the Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. It's uh, Monday night, and this is Twisted Stitches, and we are, uh, there we go. I'm just getting, getting my myself organized here in my seat. Uh, we have a little bit of technical difficulty here, so we are not going to let that stop us. So we're going to a different um, a different way of delivery here, but we are all set, and we are so glad that you are here with us. And um, we've got to make sure I have my I do have my nitty gritty yarn boy with me. So hold on a minute, I want to get to the comments <laughs> so that I can see everything. Oh, yeah, you know Melissa is here with us. And before I introduce Melissa, who did I say was going to be with us tonight? Jillian Goldrich. She's the first one on. So say hi, Jillian. Hey, Jillian. It's nice to meet you, although I can't see you. <laughs> and Bryce and Andrea, and we have lots of folks joining us, and they'll be coming on as we um, as we kept going here. So just to fill you in a little bit about the week, I was uh, a, I was a um, as Melissa called before a human at the Rhinebeck Duchess County Fiber Festival this week, and it was my first time there. And it was quite interesting to be a uh, on the other side of the table. Whoa, <laughs> I, I have a I have a little bit of a echo behind me while Paul is working on the uh, on the technology. But it was so fun to be at the Fiber Festival as a as an attendee and sit on the other side of the table and see all the great people there. Um, so yeah, it was it was a good day. We had great weather and now we are back rolling and ready to go. Um, we've got lots of folks joining us. Uh, right, I'm on the phone. Now. And uh, Maria, Gloria Hamilthese, Oriana, Nancy McClellan, Donna Nahalo. It's great to see you all here tonight. Um, so our numbers are popping up on the side there as folks are joining us and we have a great night planned for you. Um, we have Melissa Leapman here with us and I just want to read a little bit of something about you. You all may have, you may, I'm sure you all know Melissa, um, but it says here that with over 1,250 designs in print, Melissa Leapman is one of the most widely published American knit and crochet designers at work today. And she's worked with leading ready-to-wear design houses and is the author of several best-selling knit and crochet books, including the Knit Stitch Pattern Handbook, Master Color Knitting, um, 6,000 plus pullover pop, uh, possibilities, and the list goes on and on and on. And I am so pleased to welcome Melissa Leapman to our show tonight. Melissa, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me, Paul. I'm excited to be here. It's been um, it's been an interesting time uh, getting all the garments ready for tonight. Um, they came in this weekend. I made sure everything was up on our website. Um, and you've done some beautiful projects here for Juniper Moon Farm uh, this season. Thank you. It was really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah. I so think I did uh, 28 new designs um, for Juniper that's Moon. That's amazing. That's Before. amazing. Well, we unfortunately we can't show all of them, but we're going to show lots of them tonight. <laughs> and um, Barbara Barbara Michelle uh, Shilbo says a cute puppy. Yes, well, we have our 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 puppy is in the background there. He'll show himself a little bit later. He's so tiny you can barely see him, but he does come on and um, he's he's our our. Um, our shop, our studio puppy. So Melissa, I don't know if you know that we are working from the lower level of our home here. We have a mini bus that we work out of. And during COVID, we kind of switched gears in the bus. And uh, we are here now in our home and we've got everything ready to show our fans tonight. But tell me, how long have you been designing? It said, you know, you've got over 1,250 designs in print. How long has that been? Since grad school. Um, I came to New York for grad school in 1984. Oh my goodness, I've been at this um, a long time. So I, it, it, I did, I'm not. I didn't do all 1,250 of those designs <laughs> last year. I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> yeah, no, I've been at this for a while. I've written a, a ton of knitting books and crochet books, and I'm so lucky that I was. I'm one of those lucky ones who was able to turn my hobby into my job, which means I really don't have a job, right? It's all fun. It's all knitting, knitting is fun. <laughs> except for Monday mornings. Monday mornings are tough. Are they? Well, you know, yes. <laughs> 
Is it um, coming off the weekend or? Uh... Well, you know, I do take my weekends off. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't knit in the evenings on the weekends. I really do try to keep good business hours. When I first started my business a million years ago, I didn't do that. I wanted to be like really prolific and really good at it. And, you know, and you, you could burn out if you don't, if you don't stop. So yeah, so knitting is now my career. It's no longer my hobby. So I have other hobbies now that I do after hours. Do you? I do want to share what those are? Um, well, you know, I'm a little creative. So after hours, I'm still creative. I, I love to do beads, beading and string oh. things. Yep. And I'm also into baking. I bought one of those chocolate cake baking books where I started on page one. And I'm making all the cakes in order. They're all chocolate. They're all different. And I'm writing in the margins what I think about every recipe so that I can really understand why they work. Wow. And I did the same thing during the pandemic um, with bread baking. I bought one of those big gigundo bread baking Bibles. Uh-huh. And I started on page one. And even if it looked like it wasn't going to be good, I made myself do it. I tried it so that I can see, like, what happens? What, you know, if you put milk on the top of the bread, how does that affect the crust? What if you put an egg white on top of the bread? How does that affect the crust? I wanted to learn the why, you know, the well, chemistry. And that makes sense. I mean, uh, that that part about you makes sense because even with, with designing. It's I mean, the same. I, yeah, exactly. It's the same way I approach my, my knitting design is that I experiment because I want to understand why. Uh -huh. well, what would happen if I did this? What if I put a yarn over here? What if I did a cable this way? What if I switched them the other? What if I did mirror image? You know, a lot of it is just experimenting and uh -huh. seeing what works. Well, I'm glad you experiment so much because then we have such great designs to work with. But after you've gone through all the the ruminations and all the all the the changes that you can make to to make it look so great, we get so to we get to it and we get to watch the puzzle come together. And uh, and and you've done that. Do you see my little guy in the background there? I see him now. Yeah, <laughs> well, he knows we're talking about him too. Look at him yeah, I'm, sure, I'm sure he does. Hold on one moment, and let me. So this way, come here, little buddy. Come on, you want to be part of the show? Come here, you little stinker. Oh, okay. he's the star of the show. He always is. Mm -hmm. We have we have Ben and Oreo, so we're just going to keep him quiet here on my lap for a little bit while I get started. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> We have, we're going to start with, and I'm, I was so excited when my rep showed me this, um, this design this year, um, because I just, I love mosaic work and we are going to show you this great little jacket that's called Kristen and let me get it in the right place. So tell us a little bit about this jacket. I love this jacket. First of all, like you, I like mosaic knitting because it it looks like it was really complicated. It looks like we've got this really, you know, intricate pattern work going on with two colors and everything. You know, with mosaic knitting, you're just using one color per row. Right. And we're slipping stitches up from the row before that is the other color to bring that color up into the row we're working now. So everyone thinks that we worked with two colors at a time but we don't. We're just going to work one color at a time and we're slipping stitches. Um, one of the things I really like about this design is that those buttonholes are incorporated into the knitting of the garment. So you don't have to go back later and pick up a certain number of stitches for the button band and make your buttonholes all whatever evenly spaced. Um, these buttonholes are made as part of the front. So there's less finishing to do later. Uh -huh. yeah. so I know you people. Um, and the other interesting thing about this design is that the sleeves are the exact same length as the body. So this means that it is very flattering. Um, it's three quarter length sleeves. It's a hip length. Um, I'll hold that up so that you can see it better. Yeah, yeah. And all of the stripes line up. I had an excellent knitter make this with me um, and I'm really pleased with it. And I hope that you folks enjoy knitting it. Um, you'll find that mosaic knitting is addictive. Oh yeah. Oh, this is really orange. I really do love this pattern. Um, it's just, and, and the feel of Patagonia, this is knitted with Patagonia and the feel of this yarn, I, I think is so perfect because it's not, 
it's the, a perfect weight. It's not going to weigh you down when you wear it. It's a nice little uh, fall jacket. Very, very It's, it's a great jacket. Um, it's a great yarn for this piece because uh, the mosaic knitting has sort of a feel of a of a woven fabric kind of it doesn't feel like a knitted fabric it's a little sturdier it's a little uh -huh. crunchier right and patagonia was the best yarn for this particular yep. design yeah. very very nice so this is again this is called Kristen, and it's on our website a knitting fever and your yarns is helping us out there thank you so much for posting that link on our on our page here and um the next piece we have is a cute little trio this is called Josette, and Josette is a cute little hat. Look at this. Whoops, I got to get my, my line up right there. The stranded color work. So we go from mosaic to stranded color work. So this is just a little more complicated than mosaic <laughs> because you are carrying two colors across every row, um, but the stitch multiple is not very wide, so it's easily memorized. So you just look at the chart once at the beginning of the row, and you're like, oh, knit six with this color, pearl one, knit six, whatever it is, um, easily memorized. Mm -hmm. And um, we were able to get all of these pieces out of just one skein each of all of those colors. Isn't so that great? Yeah. You know, so it's economical. Um, you could make this whole set and have something to give away as a gift. Yep. Keep, some, yep. keep something for yourself and give away the rest. And so we have the, the hat and the cowl and the great little fingerless. Little fingerless mitts. Those are so great. You know, with our phones, when we go outside, it's nice to have fingerless mitts so you can still use your phone. I wonder if anybody actually wears gloves anymore. <laughs> yeah, really. I'm going to get that on so you can see how great that is. Get that. And I made I made the cuff extra long so that it'll tuck inside your jacket so that the cold doesn't come up. You know, I hate that when the cold comes up inside the, my cuff or my jacket. Yep. Yep. Really nice. Very. Always very thinking nice. about you folks. Because <laughs> I try <laughs> to design things that I would enjoy wearing that, and that making. That little piece of pink, you know, that little pink, that one little row of pink there right at the edge gives it a. That's called a rib. tipped rib. Chipped tipped rib. Tip T I P P E D, oh, and it's tipped at the top and at the bottom. Um, the cast on and the bind off edges are all tipped with that pink color. Yeah. Really great! This is really cute. I love it. Yeah, the top of the the top of the mitt as well. So that's Josette, and, and that's all of that is made in the round. So there's no purling. Ah, nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we have Margot. Let me find Margot. Oh, now this is Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is a little heavier weight than our, um, than Patagonia. This is more, an, and I guess more an Aran weight. I'm going to put this, can you see that right there if I put it that's there? That's perfect. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. Um, this, this was a top-down yoke sweater they designed using all of the fantastic colors that Santa Cruz comes in. Um, it's it's such a beautiful yarn. It's it's saw it's organic. It's soft. It comes in a million colors, um, and it's quick knitting. So it's top down. With, I wanted to design something at the top of the note of the yoke, so it kind of looked like a necklace. Yep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that was my goal there, um, and I, I hope you'll enjoy knitting it. Yeah, top down really in the round, no purling. By the time you finish all the yoke stuff, you can just sit and watch Bridgerton on TV and just motor along with your stockinette in a solid color, right? Because you always well, need to have favorites. If you're like me, you need to have one project that is interesting. You know, where you have to concentrate on the color work or the cable work or whatever, and then you have to also have another project that's mindless, so that you can go to knit night or you can watch TV, go to the movie, whatever and just have simple stockinette. So this sweater has a little bit of both. Yeah, that's, that's a great way of looking at it too. And so Santa Cruz is a great organic merino. Let me get myself in the right position here so I can see everybody. Um, organic merino, and this is 191 yards per hank, and it just feels so great. I love this one. It's a wonderful yarn to knit with. So um, that is Margot. And we're gonna put Margot aside. You know, sometimes you, when you use a, a chunky weight yarn like that, sometimes the yarn feels really like, I don't know, scratchy. 
this yarn is not scratchy. So no, it gives this is a really look, nice. but it's merino and so it's soft and beautiful. Yep. Yep. And I, I like the weight of the yarn when you're when you're wearing it, you know, where where um the Patagonia is a lighter weight and it, it holds that that mosaic really nicely. This actually shows the stranded color work beautifully in it with the um the little heavier weight yarn. Really but it's still awesome. not heavy, 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 heavy. It's not no, weighty. You know, we it's not to, it's not gonna stretch lengthwise because it's so heavy. Right. Well, you know, there something can be warm when I say heavy. I mean more like warm, but not heavy to wear on your yeah. body. Yeah. You know, and 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 I, I I find that with a lot of knitted garments, they're not they're not weighing me down, which I really like about it. I mean, which is probably why I like to wear cowls and sweater. I mean, um, uh, ponchos and sweaters than rather than coats because coats always feel like they're weighing me down. Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah. 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 And they add extra bulk in places where we don't need it. Isn't that the Am truth? Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? So let me see if we have any, um, let me see, gloves in winter. I'm just looking to see what comments we have. Kelly Kohlhofer uh, loves the idea of no purling. Um, Jillian Gold, uh, wait, who said they can't knit that? Donna Nahalo, did you say you couldn't knit that sweater? Because I'll bet you could. You could do that. You can do any of these. <laughs> we have some great fans. They love to chat with each other. So let's see what what else we have here. And if you have any questions for Melissa while we go along, please, you know, feel free, ask away. I'm going to take the next little piece and I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this on to show it. This is, what's her name here? This is Leanne. Leanne is a lovely demonstration of Herio Fine yarn. This is a just a great little piece. I love the design work on this. So tell us about this one, Melissa. Thank you. I, I wanted to design a, a an asymmetrical shawl that had a little bit of everything. So you, you do one stitch pattern until you're sick and tired of it. And then it's time <laughs> to switch to another one. And then you switch to another one. Um, the construction of this one is sort of interesting. Um, Paula, can you show the center there? We have like the center. It's like a rectangle with those waves on it. Um, you pick up stitches on both sides of that rectangle to create the wings of the shawl. It's super fun to knit. Um, and again, it's got a lot of variety of stitching in it. So you're never bored. So do, so this is asymmetrical. Yeah. And are the, is the centerpiece picked up or is it just worked right in there? Um, it's worked right in there. Um, you start at the bottom where all the stripes are. You start with the little tip, the little okay. teeny weeny tip like this, and you increase, 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 increase. And when you're done increasing, you've got a shape that has like this hole in the middle where you could got it. stitches and create that rectangle. Um, and there's no seaming because when you pick up the stitches for that rectangle, you attach it as you go. It's it's super Ooh. cool. Yeah. And then we, we end up with some lace on the other and end. there's some lace on the other <laughs> end. This yarn is so soft and so, it's just, it's wonderful. Um, it's a great weight. It's fine, um, but it is still super warm because, you know, alpaca is hollow. And that right. makes it super warm without the weight that we yeah. were just talking about, about some some wools. So this is, yeah, this was the perfect design for really this yarn. Great. Yes, it does. It shows, and it shows the, um, the really the the drape of Herio Fine beautifully. And here's another Herio Fine project. This one is a Becca. Oh my goodness, I remember this one. This is a hoot. Okay, listen, it is a it's an it, it, infinity cowl that's made in a strip. And so you can see that the outer edges of this cowl have the little zigzag stuff going on. Yep. That is knitted into the fabric. So there's no going back later and picking ah. up stitches. It's all made in one piece. And when you're mm -hmm. finished, you just seam the cast on edge to the bind off edge. And you're done. It's, it'd be perfect for like a, a holiday gift. Get that. Yeah, there you go. Really pretty. You can wear it either way mm -hmm. and under your coat for a little extra warm. Right. And then in, when you're indoors, just don't double it up. Just keep it long right. because right. if you wear something that has a vertical look to it, like that big long cowl hanging down in the front, 
makes you look skinnier and taller. Well, I can use both of those. Hold on. Let me <laughs> I'll be I'll be wearing this until my diet's over. <laughs> <laughs> you look great, Paulette. That looks nice on you. Pretty colors. Pretty, pretty colors. So this one is Becca. And uh, so, by the way, on our website, some of the what we're doing with some of the new uh, entries is we are uh, putting in the entry and asking you uh, to put the colors you want. For example, in the in Becca or in the one that we just showed before that in Leanne, Leanne has is a, a three color shawl. So rather than making all the different color combinations in kits, we ask that you just in the notes section, when you're checking out, they ask for notes, just put your color, the colors that you'd like in the notes section and we'll fill your order that way. Because and any three colors will work for this as long as they're contrasting enough. Right, right. So, you know, rather than have me choose the colors I think everybody wants, all the colors are there. You just say, I want number six, 12 and 13 and, you know, and we'll fill your order that way. OK, and if you have any problems or your concerns, you can't figure out how to do that. You know, we're always available. And by the way, Paul is uh, on the other end, so he doesn't have a camera in front of my face. So here, let me help him. 203-856-6755. That's 203-856-6755. You don't know that, Melissa, but every time I go to give people our phone number, Paul puts the camera right in front of my face. Oh, he's really angry. <laughs> uh, I see. It's like you're doing a commercial, or you turn yeah. that into like a jingle, and then people will remember <laughs> your phone number, right? Oh goodness. Oh, now brand new yarn um, this year for Juniper Moon Farm, Blueface Leicester. Or is this it yarn is amazing. <laughs> I agree. Oh my goodness! I was able to put together four designs um, for Juniper Moon I'm using this fantastic new yarn. Um, you know, it's a single breed sheep. Uh, yep. The wool is made from a single breed sheep and it is, it is so special um, and warm and I love it. Now we just got this yarn in the other day and I, uh, and I did an unboxing when it came in. So the folks have gotten a little bit of a preview, but let, you know, let me tell you, the more I hold on to this yarn, the more I like it. Wait till those of you who are coming to the retreat, you're going to get a chance to see this firsthand. If you'll be with us at the fiber festival of new England in, um, in, in West Springfield, we'll have this with us there as well. Uh, you're going to love this yarn. This is one of the best. It's a new, it is a, um, 100% wool, but it's not like any oh, no. 100% wool you've ever felt. Um, so uh, Maria Brandt is saying she has to remember the Becca cowl. Maria, you can go on to our website and, and you know, make sure you push, put that aside for yourself. And Blueface Leicester, Julia Vincent is saying she loves Blueface Leicester, and so do I. Um, yeah, so this, oh, let's show them this pretty sweater. This is the Nora pullover. I think we need it closer up. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to bring this yeah. close to the screen so people can see the lovely detail work in this one. So Look this sweater, I designed this sweater as an updated traditional Aran sweater with all the cables and stuff going up. Um, the center cable there is original to this design. I pulled it out of my little brain. Um, it is no place else. It's very special. And it's super fun to knit because, you know, almost every other row, new stuff to do. I don't know if you're like me, but when I knit cables like this, I end up saying, okay, I'm going to stay up just, just long enough to do one more row. Famous <laughs> last words, right? <laughs> Look yeah, at this fun one. It's this. got saddle shoulders. Um, so the cables continue from the center of the sleeve all the way up. They joined the neck. So it's, it's a very flattering look. Um, and just super fun to wear. Yeah, really. It's just very, very pretty. I love the movement in this. Just so yeah. pretty. And then the back. Whoopsie. The same. Yeah, mm -hmm. the back is the same as the front. Mm -hmm. like, and the neck is not one of those killer crew necks. <laughs> it's a little wider so that it's comfortable. You know, because I'm designing this stuff for us, right? I mean, I, I know what we want. Right? I mean, I right. <laughs> you know what we wear. 
Yeah. So I just want to I, I just want to focus on this cable for a moment because you said it's original. I I have never seen anything like this. It's I just love the variety of work that's in there. So pretty folks. Take a look at that. Thank you, Paula. That's it's really, really fun. fun. That's one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I'm looking over here on my coffee table because I've got charts galore. Um, I just sit and I doodle. I do it all on graph paper. I don't even knit swatches of it. I can just look at the graph paper and I, I can visualize where the cables need to go. Um, and that's how I create them. Wow. It's that's very cool. fun. That's yeah. like I say, um, the, you, you all have that creative brain and then we get to it's I love one of my favorite part things about knitting is like it's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Exactly. You know, I love mm -hmm. it because it um, you watch it come together row yeah. by row and, and you start to see that little design take place and you feel so accomplished when it I was like, yeah, it looks like the sweater, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what she wants me to do here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Knitting is so much fun. Aren't we lucky that we, oh, that we have this to do oh, together? Absolutely. And absolutely. it brings us together and allows us to meet and have something in common. Um, I love being here. I feel like I have you all in my living room. So you, um, you do. So <laughs> you have a, 50 of us in your living room. There right? you go. <laughs> Great. Fabulous. And Maria Branch says this is a that this calls this a masterpiece sweater. Oh Maria. Uh, Thank Donna you. Nahalo says, I think I found my next project. Perfect. Whoa. That's exciting, Donna. I don't know. I don't know if you mean Nora um, or, or which one you mean, but that's <laughs> I'm very happy about that. It's a perfect time to start a a big heavy sweater because you know, fall knitting and you know, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put this one on. This is Annabelle, another blue face. Is it Lester or Leicester? Do you know? I say Lester. I'm going to remember that. You know, but you're up there in New England. So you well, New England people, Worcester. I mean, you already say things funny up there. So, uh, Well, I'm, I'm a Jersey girl, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I did here. my undergrad work up there in the Berkshire Valley. I <laughs> named this collection of designs for fall of 2021 the Berkshire Collection um, because I did my undergrad work up there in western Massachusetts in the Berkshire Mountains. Ah, it was such a beautiful place to where study. Where did you go to school? Amherst? Matt Holyoke. Oh, Matt Holyoke. Cool. Cool. So um, Bryce Wonders says it's Lester. And I, I'm going to take Bryce's word for it because Bryce does a lot, has a, has a farm. So I'm going to well, think she, he, yep, he, he, everything. He, yep. <laughs> and he does his own spinning. So uh, another blue face Lester design is um, this is called Annabelle. It's an asymmetrical poncho. Could so you move I'm a little closer to the camera so we can see those cables? Um, these are faux cables, everybody. Ooh. They have little eyelets in the center of them. Um, it is so easy to do this stitch work. It's um, You have three stitches that create that little cable thing going up. And instead of getting out your cable needle, what you do is on one row, you slip the first stitch over on top of three stitches and then and when you knit them you knit one yarn over knit one so you keep the same number of stitches the stitch count is constant um but rather than having to go and find your cable needle hmm. this is a faux cable and this piece is made out of one gigundo rectangle that's it. That's all there is to it. It's asymmetrical. Ah. Um, and you it has one little seam Right one there. little seam. Yep, that's the one seam. Um, super fun, easy, comfortable, useful silhouette. And then I love these because you can wear them so many different ways. That's right. I can, now, I'm, it's just like looking at yourself in the mirror here when you have your... Um, <laughs> it was this way. Wait a minute. I'm not going <laughs> to hang I'm yourself. I'm not going to look at the screen because I'll be going <laughs> backwards. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, I've got to go this way. That's it. I want to get this. I want to get this. Want to get it off your shoulder. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So now yeah. it's like a giant cowl. It's that's beautiful. That, yeah, really you know, and that is your perfect. color, Paulette. It's a great color. Yeah, really. The yarn perfect. is so lustrous. This Lester yarn, it's it's not like merino. It's a totally different animal. Yeah. Totally different breed. <laughs> <of shape. laughs> you know what I did 
get there. Um, you. And you made a joke. <laughs> me make a joke? No. Um, yeah, I think I love this. And you wear that so nicely. It was yeah. such a pleasure designing with this yarn. It just was so much, it was so much fun to knit. Beautiful. Oh, so we've got to come in here. Fellow seven sister school here. Oh, know. Kelly, where did you go to school? <laughs> Kelly Kohopper, where'd you go to school, Kelly? And Julie Denny Stark loves this poncho. Oh, good. Hey, yay, Julie. Yay. You get to see it up close at the um at the retreat. Yay. Okay. So we're gonna wait for Kelly to tell us where she went to school. Yeah, I'm dying to know and where oops. you went to school. Did you go to Smith? If you went to Smith, Kelly, then we are rivals. <laughs> There's no rivals on my show. No rivals in knitting. Okay, never mind. <laughs> we're, we're all friends. Oh, Vassar. Okay, well then we can be friends. Okay, <laughs> Kelly, we're friends still. It's okay. okay, so we have another blue face Lester uh, cowl. This is called the Kayla. This is a wide textured cowl. Let me come close so we can. So Vassar. Textured oh, cowl Vassar. That is worked out of, this is just knit and pearl. Knit and pearl, knit and pearl, knit and pearl, and it's absolutely reversible. So Paulette doesn't have to worry about how she throws it over her neck. It's going to look nice no matter what. Um, and <laughs> it's, it's crooked. You yeah. even when you do that because there's no wrong side. Right. And no matter which side is showing, it's the same pattern on both sides. So it's absolutely reversible. Love really it. fun to knit. Yeah, super fun to knit. Um, and again, it, the, the yarn shows off very simple knit and pearl stitches beautifully the stitch definition is amazing yes it is it is it's great great another great design so it looks like a fun one to just to, to and is this this is in the round i think that one was made in, in one piece and then seamed i should have done my homework no it's okay it's okay i just i'm trying to find the seam I will have to. My knitters are pretty good. That maybe they they you know maybe they hit it that well. It's so beautiful. I don't know. Very pretty. Very nice. Um, by the way, uh, Melissa Kelly went to Vassar. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, cool. That's that's why Kelly and I are, can still be friends. <laughs> you have to understand that Mount Holyoke, my alma mater, and Smith College, which was another women's college, yep, in the same valley. So we were rivals. Ah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah, the okay. Wellesley and Bryn Mawr, you know, we all can be friends. It's just those smithies. Okay, my fans know how much I love hats. I, I Well, I love them. I just can't wear them. So I'm going to put on Bryn, the ribbed boyfriend hat. And I'm going to. Oh, man, sure. that looks so hip on you. Look at that. Look at that hat. That, that is so cool. This is um, also very easy to knit, uh, made in the round. It's a simple ribbed pattern. And the fun is the unusual striping effect that you have here. Um, you know, rather than having stripes the whole way, um, it's sort of color block stripes. And Paulette, again, that is a tipped rib. That little oh, the, the narrow it. strip at the very bottom. Yep. I get now I learn I learned something new tonight. <laughs> uh, so Kelly's parents said no to Smith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you got a good education at Vassar. So that's that's good. I mean, Smith yeah. had a good education, too. But so and and so this is a one of each color, right? I think is that. Yeah, I think it was one hank of each color to make that. And there are so many great color combos that are possible. You can choose, you know, your school colors, your your professional team colors, or the colors yep. that I chose. I actually chose these colors because I thought of it as um, both a hat really truly for your boyfriend or a boyfriend hat that you could borrow. <laughs> and um, so the colors are sort of, you know, unisex. Now, something I really like about this sweat, this hat is that it's sized. Yeah, well, we know we all don't have the same size head. I have a little head. <laughs> yeah, so there's a small, medium, and yep. a large, extra large. So you can make one for yourself. You can make one for your husband. Yeah. You know, your teenage daughter, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's a fun one. Very, very it's nice. Easier. Okay. Yeah, so Kelly, that orange color is so pretty. It's like a rusty orange. You know, some some oranges you can't wear, but this one, 
I think a lot of us can wear. Very pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's unlike that really bright orange that we're seeing so much of right now. This is this is a, a nice uh, uh, diversion from that. So now we've got another new yarn by uh, Juniper Moon Farm this year, and this is La Pampa. Oh, this was another really great one. Also chunky. Yes. Like kind of Aaron weight and a chunky weight. Yep. Um, comes in great colors and it's got sort of a matte finish to it. Um, so it's great for quick knitting. This is one of my favorite designs in the collection. This um, is the Alana and it's probably a little bit, well, probably a little bigger than the sweater likes right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Alana cardigan. Um, and what I like about it is that it's all just plain, boring stockinette with very special touches. At the bottom there, I added a little angular um, stitch work to make it really flattering. So I'm gonna take this off so you can see how pretty the stitch work is because when you look at the sweater, it's just, it's really just a great little button down. Can hold it a little higher up so we can see the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna get to that. That's what I wanna show them next. It's got inset pockets um, where you can keep your whatever, your Kleenex, your subway token, whatever you have. Um, but look at that little arrow thing um, at the bottom mm -hmm. there. That makes this not only fun and interesting to knit, but it makes it a very flattering sweater. Just going to set the shape on it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a very special little secret treat in the back of this garment. Look at the, the back of this sweater that you have. On the hanger. One second. Thank you, Jeannie. Look at this fantastic little detail. This is the type of knitting detail that you don't really get on a commercial sweater. This is why we hand knit, folks, right? So that we can get little details like this. Um, they're unexpected, and they really make make this this garment look just so special and handmade, and you know, yeah. really pretty. Look at that. Well, let me move that sleeve out of the way. Give them one more look at that bottom there. Very, very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I guess someone was looking for pom-poms and knitting fever. Thank you so much for posting the, the faux, fu faux fun. <laughs> faux fur. Thank you. Faux fur. You know, faux fur. The, the faux fur pom-poms are so popular right now. And the bigger the better and colors that are natural fur colors as well as kooky colors hot pink yeah um yeah. they're just so much fun i actually put um i didn't put it on there but when i was uh when i was working on the whoops where is she this fun little stranded color work hat i thought this pink Yes. Would look so fun. Yes. And look at the size of that. That is, that's what I call it. Pom -pom. Look at yep. that. And these have the great little snap button, snap bottoms so that you can take them on and off your hats. Love you know? it. They're Love even it. fun. They're even fun on, um, on scarves. You know, you put a pom pom on the bottom of your scarf. It's just, just a great little accessory and Love so, it. so popular this year. Um, okay. Another La Pampa sweater we have is the Arabella. Arabella yoke pullover. Let's grab this little baby. Look at that. Oh, wow. I loved designing this one. Um, I just like the idea of the yoke being a different color uh, than uh -huh. the main part of the sweater. And again, it's got this little necklace effect up there up top, the little white little necklace thing up there and a tipped rib, right? <laughs> um, made from the top down, one piece, no seaming, no purling. Oh, okay. Knit one, purl one, rib, a little bit of purling. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, really fun sweater to knit. Um, and again, you can do the, the yoke while you're concentrating, right? And then when you're watching TV, you can do the simple stuff, the bottom, the solid. Yep. Really pretty. And I love that. And this new yarn comes in so many great colors that you, yes. you know, if you don't look great, if you don't like red, it comes in a purple and a Beautiful teal, beautiful yarn. You'll yep. love it. And, and you can again, see it's, it has a matte finish to it. It's doesn't have it's not hairy, hairy. You know, it doesn't have the, right. the guard hairs and all that stuff. It's it's a matte finished, beautiful yarn. Yeah, really pretty and soft. Soft, yeah. soft, soft. Yeah. La Pampa. I love this. I love the little the zigzag 
effect that you've got there. I can't, but let me see if I can do that backwards. You're doing it. It looks great. <laughs> I'm not doing that at all well, am I? <laughs> Isn't it funny how when you're looking at yourself in the screen like that, you don't you don't know which direction. Oh my gosh, and I have to keep remembering where the camera is located. Exactly. Thank you all. You're being very patient while, <laughs> while we get through this. This is good. This is really good. Um, oh, now this, I love color blocking and this sweater is a great, I mean, it's really striped, it's big, bold stripes, but I like it because oh, yeah. they're just, they're, they're not narrow stripes. They're nice, broad stripes. They are bold, baby. Um, they, yeah, this is, um, La Pampa doing its thing. The yarn is so just beautiful on its own that just simple stripes is all you yep. really need. It's got um, set in sleeves with beautifully shaped sleeve caps um, with fully fashioned shaping. So every stitch, because it's a bulky weight yarn, every stitch kind of shows, you know? So right. when you do your decreases for your armhole, um, the pattern has complete instructions on how to make them fully fashioned. Look there, you see how, how like the, the seam is framed? Yep. In fully fashion decreases. Um, super easy to do. It's all written in the pattern. You just, just read the pattern and it's all in there. Um, but yeah, unexpected striped colors. Yeah, really. Yeah, cool. I enjoyed this one. Yeah. Well, I like the shaping of the sweater itself. It's it's a, it's a bulkier yarn, yet the sweater has a nice fit to it. You know, I think really this one actually fun. has, I, this one might have a fitted silhouette. I can't remember. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but it's, it's, it's just, it's, it's, un, you know, unlike they're, they're each beautiful. This is your, you know, this is your sit around the fireplace, you know, and, and outdoor fireplace. And this is a great, to me, that's a great indoor sweater on yeah. a, a cold day. So just, you know, they each have their own place and they're all beautiful. So this one is called Miriam. And, and again, this yarn comes in so many beautiful colors. Don't just you know, you don't have to use the ones that I chose. There's so many great colors in this yarn. Well, and I'm looking at the whole palette of colors, um, you know, between the Santa Cruz and the La Pampa I mean, and in, in the Blue Face Lester, everything has its, they just kind of all work so beautifully together. The textures, the yarn, the, the weight of the yarn, really very, very pretty. Uh, yeah, Darren, the, Juniper they, Moon, the Juniper Moon team has a great eye for color. So I had nothing. I had nothing to do with the color choices. I, they they just gave me beautiful stuff to work with. So I'm very that's, lucky. That's nice. That's nice. Darren Showers is saying he loves your sweater designs. I can't blame you, Darren. I'm loving Thanks, this. Thanks, Darren. Um, okay, so now we are going. Oh, to Celestina. Oh, I love this yarn. Now talk about a luxury yarn. How could you not love ah. Celestina? Gonna grab some of these while I'm back at this part of the studio, and put them here. So when we get to them, I'm re I'm all ready, and I'm gonna put Celestina right here. All right, there's another infinity cowl with vertical lines to it. So when you're outside, you can double that up around your neck, keep you nice and warm, and then when you're inside, you can just wear it long, like a scarf. And it's a fashion accessory. This one is crocheted. Yes. Um, and it is simple crochet. I know you're thinking, oh, I don't know how to crochet. Well, you you can you can make this. It is just single crochet and chain stitches. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and this one is called cat can do this. If this is called yeah. Nadia. Yeah, it's it's such a it was such a fun thing to design um, because it's I don't know, maybe it's two single crochets next to each other and then a big long chain and then two single crochets and a big long chain. So it's it's lightweight, um, it stitches up quickly and, and it's a great use for this yarn, which is is so soft and it, you just, you want it near your face. And I, you know, I, I learned to crochet before I learned to knit. One grandma taught me to crochet, one taught me how to knit. So I was very, very fortunate to spend time with my grandmas and, um, and I somehow evolved to knitting more than crocheting. So when I look at a crochet project, I go, oh, yeah, I can do this one. This one really is really very, very pretty. And um, just, I, and I love the colors. It's very, they're very subdued here. Um, everything. Celestina, Celestina is gorgeous. 
it's just so beautiful. We we come we uh, showed a couple of other uh, projects using it last a uh, couple of shows ago, and um, it really is a it's a it's a a virgin cashmere, sixty percent virgin cashmere, twenty six percent super fine wool, and fourteen percent nylon. So this, I mean, nothing feels so like soft cashmere against your against your neck. So Beautiful. so soft, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you crochet with you know, something that is that soft, um, the crochet kind of keeps it tight, so that you don't have to worry about it getting all fuzzed up and balled up and what's it called? Pilled, pilled, pilled. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, and yep. the mixture, uh, the fiber blend for that particular yarn, it's not going to pill. Yeah, no, this is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Just beautiful. Um, let's see. Oh, Jeff Denneke says, hi. I just saw you, Jeff. Where'd you go? Jeff Denneke popped in there. Hello, Jeff. It's great to see you here. Kathy Sullivan from New Hampshire saying, this is such fun. The designs are all fabulous. Thank you. Um, yes, yes, it, they are all fabulous. They're just amazing. I'm so so glad that we have you here to talk about them um another celestina project is alisa and this is a three color shawl and Ooh, yeah this one this shawl is so much fun to do because it starts at the top and you work down in one uh -huh. piece so you start with a little garter tab at the center of the back of the neck. Yep. And then you are increasing as you go, following a chart or following the words um, and changing colors. And it is so perfect for this yarn. This yarn is so luxurious. Um, it sure is. <laughs> you know, it's a cashmere blend. It just, it just feels so nice. And man, you're going to love knitting this piece. So this is made with three balls of your main color and one ball of each of the contrasting colors. Yeah, Very and there are, again, there are many, many colors in this beautiful yarn. So oh, you can sure. pick, pick and choose the colors that you like. Yeah, yeah. And uh, someone is saying, thank you, Melissa, for including a crochet, for cr including crochet pieces. It's oh, honey, beautiful. I was a crocheter first. I learned to crochet when I was four from my grandmother. Wow. It's a funny story. I was sitting in her sofa um, she was always a crocheter and I was sitting on her sofa after having played with one of those toys that has a rope that you pull and then like bubbles or something happened, made noise or I don't know. But I was playing with the rope after I was playing with the toy. I was the way you were supposed to play with the toy. And I was crocheting a chain with the rope with my fingers. I didn't even know what I was just playing with it. La la la. And it turned out I was crocheting a chain and my grandmother saw that and she's like, you're crocheting here. Let me show you how I do it. And so she showed me her hook. She was making doilies. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what my um, mom did. right. And so that was how I learned. Um, and I do love to crochet. Yep. yep. Really pretty. Things. Really pretty. So this is um, this is Elisa, and it is just lovely. I love the eyelet work in this. Really pretty. It's, it's, so it's nice the way that the diagonals are going too, because that is also flattering. It draws the eye up towards your face, away from your hips and rear end. I don't know if you have that issue. I have that issue. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm designing these things for people like us. That's you know? right. That's, That's right. For the real person in the world, right? Exactly. exactly. So yeah. someone is saying uh, that they have many of your crochet books. A Facebook you. user. So I, I have to say someone because you must be you must have logged on on a different page than um, than Facebook because we share on so many different pages. So if you just let us know who you are, their Facebook user, we will say thank you. Karen Will says thank you for the crochet. I love all your work. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. OK, this is fabulous. Uh, oh, this is really cool. Beatrix. We show another you. really great yarn. If Isn't you have it? not touched this yarn, it's <laughs> it's so fluffy. <laughs> Do not touch it's it. so soft. Um, and the construction of the yarn is such that it's it's like a knitted tape. It's it's like a hollow, it's like a tube. Yep. So it's, it's lightweight nice construction there. Oh, it's so it's so beautiful. I'm um, and I designed a cowl. Are you wearing the cowl? I am. Let's see. Yeah, this cowl is so cool. If you take off the cowl and just show us the fabric, yes. this is, um, it's a slip stitch pattern made in the round. So no seams or anything. 
um, and it's slip stitches. Now picture this. Normally, when we do slip stitch knitting, we're really careful to make sure that the floats are to the wrong side of the fabric, right? Mm -hmm. And if you if you make a mistake, you've got to rip it back because your float is showing on the right side. Well, here I intentionally put the floats on the public side of the fabric. Wow. And they were pretty long. You can see that little zigzag business is created from super long floats on the public side of the fabric that oh, I yeah. that <laughs> I hooked up on later rows to create a zigzag. So it's kind of like like a quilted effect or an embroidery effect or something um but it's a super cool original stitch pattern nobody else has it um but us and quick 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 to knit with beatrix Warm. yeah yeah love it love it yeah beatrix is so soft and fluffy mm -hmm. and lightweight yes yeah and warm cashmere blend beautiful beautiful this is and this was um um i Big, big hit at the Kings County Fiber Festival, Beatrix. This was something that folks, folks were flocking to it. They really, really loved it. It's, so, lovely. it's such a joy to design for and to knit with, you know, to snuggle with. <laughs> yeah. yeah, really great. Okay, so that's Lori, Lori Brooks Casey. That's who that is, our Facebook user. Thanks, Lori, for identifying yourself. Um, all right, so this was the Allison cowl that we just looked at. And um, another, uh oh, did I skip one? Looks Wait. like I've designed a lot of things. You did, and you designed a lot this time. Now, this is not, a, this is not this year, but this is another Beatrix design that I asked them to, uh, to add to, uh oh to our show for tonight. This one is Kate. Um, I think this, I think you designed this one last year when Beatrix first came out. Um, and I just think this is such a great little piece. It's, I love the turtleneck on this. Oh, I'm gonna get it over my head. There we go. Lovely. Little... Yeah, that's another asymmetric yeah, yep. front show. I did not design that, but that is beautiful. Yes, you did. It came in with your stuff. <laughs> this maybe I maybe I designed a lot of stuff and I just can't remember anymore. Maybe, you maybe did. that's what it is. That's okay, or, or or I had someone else's design thrown in here. But all right, is we love it and we're gonna. It's and with that turtleneck, I bet that is so soft. It is. It is. It's lovely. Super super soft. So that is going to, um, that's on the website. That's Kate. And next, oh, the Jenny bubble hat. Another Beatrix design. Ooh. Okay. Uh-oh, so my glasses are in the way. You folks know how very popular bubble stitch knitting is, right? I wanted to get on the bandwagon. I was looking at you at that. Hat. You say you're not a hat person, but you can pull that off, you know? <laughs> I, I can't pull off these hats. I, you know, I look like, look, here I am in my, my latest hat. There you go. My most, my most recent hat. No, you're much more of a hat person than me. What I um, think we have to do, Melissa, is we just have to flop them on our heads. I mean, we try so hard to make it look perfect. Yeah, so if you just like throw it yeah. on and then look, that's it. Maybe that's, maybe that's what you, what you need to do. Um, the hat that you're wearing, Paulette, is it's it's not the name of the stitch is tuck stitch. It's a tuck stitch pattern, which is super cool. You're knitting, 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 knitting. And then all of a sudden you drop one stitch off the left needle here. Picture this. OK, so you're knitting, drop one stitch off the left needle and then intentionally use your right hand needle to unravel that stitch down ah. over however many rows, I don't know, let's say four rows. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you quick throw your needle, jab it in there, rescue that stitch so it doesn't go any further. And then you just, you've created floats, those little ladders when you unravel yeah. the stitch. So then you just incorporate those ladders into the stitch you're about to knit and it creates this puffy effect. So this fabric is not only to color, it also is multidimensional. Um, so it's it's gonna trap the air and keep you warm. And it's fun, it's playful. And I would love to see that in multicolor. 
you know, like one color background, like the dark gray is the background, and then a bunch of different colors for each little set of bubbles. Ooh. Kind of like, like um, what do they call that? Varied brick. You know, like those mm -hmm. field stones that are all different colors. A uh, Leslie Welsh Flaherty says that hat looks great on me. See? <laughs> Show us, show us the, the top of the hat. The top you just want to win the sharing prize, Leslie. Oh, there are prizes? I didn't know there were prizes. Uh, Paulette, show us the top, the crown of the hat. The crown of this hat, it has a bullseye on it. Um, I like to design things that have surprises for the knitter. Oh, look how cute. So as you're decreasing here, um, you get to create this really cool effect. Very cute. Very, very cute. That's great. Thank you. Uh, thank you all fans for saying that looks really great on me. <laughs> That's the Jenny bubble hat. And I think that brings us to the end of our designs. That's Whoa. wow. That's all of them. Yeah. The rest of them. I, let me make sure. Um, yep. Those are all the ones that we picked out for the show tonight. And look at that. It's almost nine o'clock. Boy, you would think that we had a rehearsal or something. About it. You would think that <laughs> we were us a minute and a half before the show started. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of prizes, um, before, <laughs> we, before we sign off, we have our sharing bucket. I'm going to go into our sharing bucket. And I'm going to pull a name. Uh-oh, I pulled two names. Uh oh. So every week we give prizes away, and I'm sure I must have two Juniper Moon <clears throat> Hanks of Juniper Moon Farm in my giveaways. So tonight we have Marianne Murray Summers is one winner. These are all folks who have who have shared our website and our broadcast. Oh, nice. So we give back. So Marianne Summers, thank you, and Nancy Parks. Nancy Parks, you'll each be getting a gift from us in your mailbox in the next coming days. So thank you so much. Melissa, thank you so much for being with oh, us. Oh, this was so much fun. Thank you for having me. I hope that we can do this again next season for the spring summer collection. For How fun will that be? Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you that I have, as the designer, I get previews of all of the new yarns that they're bringing in. And you cannot imagine how beautiful. We have two brand new yarns for next season and they're both amazing. Oh, I, I can't I wait for you to see them. I don't want to forget. You had a couple of other things that you wanted to show me that were- I was just gonna show you how silly I look in my hat. Yeah. <laughs> this is my most recent design. It's available on my website called Snakeskin. It has like a million S's. <laughs> um, and it's it's got it's a hat with a matching cowl and i'm about to put its cousin the giraffe print up on my website as well so i'm just showing you new stuff um i am doing a knitting cruise next next summer uh, to alaska with casapinka she's joining me as my guest teacher um, and we are going to have a blast in Alaska, knitting while we're at sea, having classes. Oh, I will get more day. information from you on that. Maybe we'll get some some uh, gritty groupies to join on that cruise. I would love that. My my knitting cruises are so much fun because we eat dinner together as a group. We have classes, knitting classes during the day, and we have parties and all kinds of fun activities in the evenings. Door prizes goodie bags um and yeah i'm really excited about this one with casapinka to alaska Super. so well, maybe i'll see some of you there paulette you need to come well let's chat about it well we'll we'll see what we can do sounds cool sounds thank you again good. so much for having me um and you folks thank you so much for um first laughing at my jokes <laughs> Well, they laugh at Paul's jokes every week, so why not laugh at yours? Comments, <laughs> because um, they're really the funny. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, kiddos. We'll see you all next week. Have a safe week. We love you all. Take care. Good night, everyone. <laughs>